Cities hold 50% of the world's population, but account for 60% of its energy use. Many of the principal problems of urbanisation, including local pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, economic development and the provision of services, are linked to energy use. But it's also the case that many of the solutions and much of the innovation in terms of transport, heating and cooling and cooking can be found here as well. There are five ideas in the shortlist of the energy section for the FT City Ingenuity Awards. Proterra, based in the US, is a pioneer of all-electric buses with completely new bodies and systems and an innovative lithium titanate battery. The buses are in use in Pomona in Southern California and are already attracting great interest from other cities in the US and in China. Two of the ideas relate to the provision of cooking stoves for people in developing countries. The community cooker from Kenya is a stove that burns waste at very high temperatures to minimise noxious waste gases and ash. Reaching those temperatures required technological innovation, but the stove has been designed to be simple enough that it can be built, maintained and repaired in the slums where it's being used. The LPG project from India uses a very well-known technology familiar from any backyard grill in the US, but with a new economic framework to increase access. One of the greatest obstacles to the use of liquefied petroleum gas by poor households in India is the upfront costs for a stove, a regulator, a gas cylinder and fuel. The LPG scheme takes regular contributions from members of a community and pools them to pay those costs for a few households every month. In the pilot project, all 60 households were connected over a period of five or six months. In the developed world, the city of Tokyo has taken a bold step in its attempt to achieve greater energy efficiency and cut greenhouse gas emissions. Japan's capital has introduced the world's first city-level cap-and-trade programme for carbon dioxide emissions, requiring commercial and industrial buildings to make energy efficiency modifications or buy emissions permits. In Houston, by contrast, the energy efficiency programme is voluntary. The Mayor's Green Office Challenge harnesses the competitive spirit of the city's businesses to drive down their energy use. With recognition and the possibility of some small cash grants, it's only rewards. That's a very disparate range of solutions. Innovation can be technological, but it can be social and economic as well. It's clear that there is no silver bullet, and solutions need to be tailored for the conditions of the places where they'll be deployed. If we're going to meet the energy challenges of the 21st century, it seems very likely that all these different forms of innovation will be required. Ed Crooks for the Financial Times in London.